Gable Stevenson will not be competing in this year's World Championships even after winning Final X back in June. Before we go ahead and get started, please go ahead and thumbs up this video, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications as it does help out my channel a great deal. The likely reason that Gable's pulling out of the World Championships is either due to encouragement from the WWE or outright the WWE told him that he cannot compete in the World Championships. This is of course all rumor at this point. Gable hasn't made a statement nor has the WWE, but most people have alluded to the WWE basically putting their foot down and telling Gable that he cannot compete this summer. Gable's obviously under contract with the WWE and he is part of the NXT brand right now. Stevenson had a debut match back in July and it did not go well. And I think this is a big reason for why Gable's probably being pulled from the world championships. Gable had his first match in professional wrestling at the Great American Bash on pay-per-view, or I guess it's a premium live event on WWE. And the match did not go well. Um, it was widely criticized by professional wrestling fans and Gable was supposed to be portraying a baby face, which is a good guy. And he was largely booed throughout the match, even from introductions through the entire match, through the finish. Um, Stevenson was wearing a singlet and wore his Olympic gold medal, the ring, which is what caused the fans to immediately jump on him and basically change sides because that is essentially Kurt Angle's uh, gimmick from the WWE. Um, and basically he's being portrayed similarly to Kurt Angle. They're both the only two ever Olympic gold medals in professional wrestling. So it's easy to make that comparison, but I think that's where uh, the fans really turned on him because they don't want another Kurt Angle. There's only one Kurt Angle. There will only ever be one Kurt Angle. And the fans don't want to see someone try to recreate Kurt Angle. Stevenson wrestled Baron Corbin at this event. Baron Corbin is, of course, a heel, which is also the bad guy. And the fans actually started cheering for Baron Corbin, which is another problem with this match where the babyface is getting booed, the heel is getting cheered. Uh, that is not what the WWE wanted out of the match. This was probably some of the best by WWE uh, Hall of Famer and NXT announcer Booker T um, on his own podcast, which is ironically called Hall of Fame. Uh, Booker T said, and I quote, I'm on the fence with this kid, uh, Gable Stevenson, Booker continued. If I was a jury, the verdict would still be out because the kid got one foot in and he's got one foot out. These fans, they are rabid. They want to know if you're here to stay. They're not looking for any part-timers, end quote. So this tells me that the WWE is really looking at Gable right now as a part-timer. He's maybe not um, filling out the way that they had hoped. He's not getting over with the fans that they had the way that they had hoped. And they want him to spend more time honing on his craft, which is professional wrestling now, and unfortunately no longer freestyle wrestling. So Gable needs to get better in the ring. Uh, they probably need to change his gimmick up quite a bit and let Gable be Gable. I think Gable is a very natural heel. I don't think that he really portrays a babyface, even in like folk style or freestyle wrestling when he's trying to work with the crowd and stuff. The way he wrestles, he has a very heel style of even freestyle or folk style wrestling, the way he kind of bullies guys around. There's really no benefit to the WWE if Gable wins another world championship. He's already an Olympic gold medalist and he's already won an uh, NCAA title. Nobody really cares in the WWE universe, which is their what they call their fans, if Gable wins a world championship. He's already got the Olympics. The Olympics is the pinnacle. So only bad things really can happen uh, by Gable going and wrestling in these world championships. What I mean by bad things happening is Gable could, number one, get hurt, and then he'd be out of his, um, training and competing in the WWE for a while. Or if he loses the world championships, it could be an embarrassment to the WWE or to Gable if it's highly publicized. What's best for the WWE is that Gable does not wrestle in the world championships and instead he continues to train and learn the craft of professional wrestling. As a real wrestling fan, that's very frustrating because Gable's obviously one of our best guys. He would be an odds on favorite, one of the favorites to win the 125 kilo weight class. Instead, we have to go with Mason Paris and I love Mason Paris. And I think he could do great. He could win it. He could absolutely medal, but he could also not medal. And the chances of Gable meddling or winning are just much higher than, than Mason Paris. But back to Gable and the WWE, the big thing with them is that they want to return on their investment. They've given Gable a bunch of TV time now. Uh, he was highlighted in two WrestleManias, which he didn't do a whole lot there. But that time on that event is so crucial for so many people on that roster to give him that time. They have huge plans for Gable and they really wanna make sure that this works out. 
So winning Freestyle World Championships just isn't going to be in the plans for the WWE and Gable. The only time I see Gable coming back to wrestling is if his contract for WWE, WWE runs out and then uh, he decides he no longer wants to be a professional wrestling and he comes back to freestyle wrestling. Other than that, I think Gable's days are done. And honestly, I think they need to be done um, for him to be the best professional wrestler he can be. Um, I think something that we're losing in this whole thing for, as a wrestling community, of the real wrestling community, uh, is that this is Gable's dream. This is what he wants to do. He's built his talent. He's built his ability to wrestle. He's built his freestyle wrestling skills. He won the Olympics. He won the NCAAs. And he wanted to retire or he decided to retire and he wants to pursue being a WWE superstar. And I think that's something that the wrestling community needs to support and not blame WWE for Gable's decisions. Gable Stevenson wants to be a, you know, the WWE world champion. That's what he wants to do now. And I think that supporting Gable in that decision is something that our community needs to do rather than wish that he was back on our freestyle teams. Again, I get it. Gable could win titles and medals for years and years to come for cycles. But ultimately, it's Gable's decision on how he wants to use himself and his, his talent um, to showcase himself. You know, he wants to go to WWE and make big money um, rather than try to work and grind in the freestyle wrestling circuit to make money that way. He probably feels he could be way more profitable in the WWE. And that's his decision. And I think we need to support our Olympic champion in that. I do want to touch on Mason Paris a little bit more because he's a Michigan man. He's got Sean Bormet in his corner. Sean Bormet is maybe the best freestyle coach in the country. Um, he really has did an incredible job here in Illinois for years building our freestyle program uh, to the point where we're still seeing the results of, of what Sean did 10 and 15 years ago now with our Fargo results from Illinois. He was kind of the cornerstone guy of building up our freestyle program and that's Mason Paris's coach. So I think that Mason Paris might be a little bit uh, overlooked in, on the world stage as far as freestyle wrestling goes. I also saw a video earlier today of Mason Paris pinning Iran's um, Zare, their 125 kilogram wrestler who took a, a gold medal in 2021 and was the bronze medalist in uh, 2022. So, Mason is going to be in the mix here. I, I know that some people are maybe doubting him, but I think that Mason could very easily, well, maybe not easily, but could very well be the world champion this year with Gable out. He could also, if he doesn't win, he could medal for sure. He's going to be in the mix. So it sucks that Gable is out, but we have Mason in the wings. The best part about USA Wrestling right now is not only are we loaded, but we're super deep in a lot of weights. And man, is it fun to watch right now because when I was coming up years ago, we were not very good. So it's exciting to see other guys get chances and possibly win medals. So I wish the best of luck to both Mason Paris and Gable Stevenson on all their future uh, ventures. And thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day.